Actually, our highest uh, interference instances come from all the five gig uh, routers that are starting to be used everywhere. You know, we see every day on the top and bottom of the five gig channel just completely saturated by outdoor Wi Fi mesh units and things like that running 80 meg channels. So whenever our technicians get out to do on site, before they ever mount anything on the roof, they power the radio up where they think they're gonna mount it. They send a line of sight picture from their phone and a signal strength reading over our internal Slack channels. Each installation, we start a thread for that installation. And that way we can communicate with the technician in real time. He'll basically say, okay, here's my numbers. We give him the thumbs up or thumbs down and could just kind of go from there. As I say, we do have a set of baseline numbers that we go by, but in certain cases, we'll kind of waiver those, and that's just going to be up to management. Several of our installation technicians, especially the ones with, you know, a couple of years experience, you know, they'll make uh, some decisions there on site, but regardless, before they do the installation, they're still going to post that line of sight picture with the signal level readings and say, hey guys, here's what I want to do. Am I good to go? I think the reason this one runs so well is just because we have fairly clear terrain. This is a new market, so we don't have to deal with uh, line of sight obstruction issues. Um, the fact that we do have real time communications with our field techs as they're doing these installs helps out tremendously. But I think another part of this equation is the, uh, the latency. And this tower is only one hop away from a fiber connection, which helps out significantly as far as that goes. I mean, we have numerous uh, APs. If you go through our daily AP list that have, you know, high customer numbers, high, you know, bandwidth consumption during the day with low latency. So, I mean, we have several that are on par with this or maybe even running a little better in my opinion, but I mean, this is a pretty good representation of a big chunk of our access deployments. And in a lot of our newer deployments, uh, you know, we're, we had some titanium sectors left over. We could take down to 90 degrees, but we do a lot of horns on 90 degrees now, uh, 60 degrees. It depends on if we own the tower or if we are leasing space on the tower as to kind of de determines what we're going to put up there and how many. We find that usually in an area, someone will get on our service, they tell their neighbors, um, you know, and we look at the airtime and we're like, well, we could handle another couple of people on 50 megabit, you know, four people on 20 megabit, just kind of depends on what plan they go with. Um, and you could put two or three people on that sector pretty quick as word spreads on that block. Uh, neighbors are talking about it. So sometimes our timetable gets pushed up. We, we think we have a month left to plan this out, get the entire crew out there. Next thing you know, the sector's running at 90%. And then we're in a, we're more in a rush to get it done at that point. Customers, you know, spread the word with their neighbors, family, friends, especially in these newer developments where everybody's kind of moving into the same block together. It's like, okay, wow, we were expecting two or three new customers over the next week, couple of weeks. And all of a sudden we've got 10 of them signed up right now. our airtime percentage that's one of the major factors we look at when we decide whether or not we need to split APs but in this case more than likely what we'll do is take some uh, more narrow beam with asymmetrical horns up there and chop it up into you know small smaller covered zones 60 to 75 percent we really is kind of in my head, we start looking at, okay, we need to get this a plan in place to replace this AP. By the time it hits 80, you really need to start uh, already putting that plan into motion. 